Yeah, my name is Julian Lodge, and uh, I'm a jazz guitarist. I live in New York City, and uh, we're here in Hamburg. Tonight we're playing music from the last, kind of the last four or so records of mine. Um, the, the most recent one is an album called Love Hurts, and it's mostly covers, and then the previous records are comprised of original compositions. So in our show, we typically have equal parts new record, as well as equal parts uh, older songs of ours. So, and, and to be honest, I don't know exactly which we'll play tonight. For the most part, our approach is, is, is taking songs that we like to listen to, that seemingly have uh, a good format or a good structure for the band to play. And what I mean by that is we're looking for songs that are not too complicated or, or too uh, overly structured so that there's room for us to improvise or to, even if we don't take a solo uh, per se, uh, room for additions, harmonically, rhythmically, phrasing-wise. And, uh, and also from the new record, most of the songs are usually from people who were kind of unusual, who played melodic music, but also played improvised or more avant-garde music, like Ornette Coleman or Keith Jarrett. Our drummer, his name is Eric Dube, and he's a drummer I've played with now for several years, and just a wonderful, uh, almost orchestral drummer. He thinks about the music in a way that I think is always supportive and always uh, dynamic and virtuosic, but not obvious. And that's one of the things I love about Eric. Uh, Jorge Roeder is our bassist, and Jorge and I have played together for years and years, even way the longest, uh, not only with my own projects, but also we were in Gary Burton's band together, we were in Nels Klein's band together, we do a lot of Zorn projects together, so two of my best friends. I think we, the three of us come from a tradition of playing that is very conversational, and all, and it's 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 very much a jazz thing, you know. Uh, not to say that other kinds of music don't have that conversational element; they absolutely do. But the the music of people like Jimmy Jufrey or Paul Blay or Steve Swallow or Carla Blay or um, Keith, as I mentioned before, or, um, or Ornette, that music usually uh, seems to celebrate the balance of songs with communication and improvisation. So it's definitely something that we, we study the, from the masters and then we do our own version of it. But uh, I, I, I think it's important to me that the band first and foremost can talk to one another musically. 